Hello everyone, this is Rajit Khan. In this tutorial, I am going to teach how to create a droplet on DigitalOcean and how to log in using SSH into your droplet. So let's get started. The very first thing is you need to log into your DigitalOcean account and there there is a button create droplet. Click on it. Then here you need to name your droplet. So I'm going to name it like example UPS. And I'm going to choose the plan uh, to select the size. I'm going to use five dollar per month. It is going to give us 5.2 MB RAM, 20 GB hard disk, and so on. I'm going to select Singapore. Now here I can choose which distribution of Linux I want to use. So here I'll be using Ubuntu and I'll select 12.04 and if one wants to add an SSH key then here one can add their SSH key to here I'm going to skip this because I have already added an SSH key for my account. Now click on create droplet. it says we are now creating a droplet so soon our droplet is going to get created and the login credentials of this droplet will be sent to our email so it might take a few seconds a few minutes about to work okay so we have our example VPS created and the IP for this is this now to login in uh, to login into this droplet from our terminal uh, the login credential has been sent to our email account so here is the username and here is the password so let's go to our terminal login to our ssh root and direct ip press enter where it says whether you want to continue or not so say yes then it is asking for the password please enter the password provided to you in the email so i am just copy pasting this so for the first time of use it will ask you to change your password so first it will ask for ask you for your current password i'm going to paste it as the password is a bit okay now you need to enter the enter your new password so it could be like anything so just give your password which you want to give it will again uh, sorry the text got entered wrong so I need to again log in so it is asking for the password New password, enter your new password. Again, enter the password. So, you have successfully logged into your VPS username at the rate example VPS. So, from here now, we can install and we can play out with our VPS, newly created VPS. 
So in the next tutorial we are going to learn how to deploy a Django project on this newly created VPS. Thank you for watching.